Well, basically we have a situation where you have people claiming that some news is fake news, but the people claiming that often, if not most of the time, seem to be fake news themselves. And fake news throughout the decades leads to fake history. So we have to really question how true, as um, Gore Vidal used to quote Leo Tolstoy, and um, he used to say, history would be great if only it were true. And now there's another aspect to this, because I notice when I'm going through the I looked up just for to see what it would bring up now, years later, chemtrails. And it used to be if you looked that up, you would get people talking about what they thought, the conspiracy theory, you know, of chemtrails. They would you get that kind of stuff. So the algorithm seems maybe it hasn't, but it seems to have changed. And I remember there was a video with Eric Smith saying that he would, um, well, that he was going to, like you would look things up and the kind of information that used to be there that's fake news just wouldn't be there anymore. It's not like they're, it's not like they're censoring anybody. <laughs> that's exactly his censorship, by the way. It's a sneak, it's like, it's a weird, I mean, look, this is what the internet's about. We were always at war with East Asia or whatever, Oceania, whatever it is in the book, Winston Smith in 1984. We were all, it was always this way. Don't, don't you remember? And so they just changed the search results to prove to you that it's always been thus. So now you get stories that still talk about chemtrails, but they talk about those kooky people who talk about chemtrails. That's what you get. You don't get stories, links to information about what people think about chemtrails, you get links to information about what people think about those kooky conspiracy theorists. Yeah. So there you go. That's where we are and the internet has become less useful as for information, although it's still very useful for information. It's harder. It's not as easy to get the information because they are, what I would say in a roundabout way, censoring. That's what I would claim. And the whole thing with the AdSense and what you put on your video, whether it gets targeted for the removing of AdSense or algorithms or whatever, what you write the title or what, this, that, and the other thing. Who knows, really? So, here we are. Fake history, fake news, fake search results.